Hi, it's Josie, and today I'm going to answer a question from one of my email subscribers, actually. And they asked, well, they stated that they keep losing their stirrups in canter, and is there any tips I have for them? And I do have, I have two tips that will help you keep your feet in the stirrup in canter. Um, but firstly, I want to tell you a bad saddle position, a, a saddle that doesn't fit properly on the horse, tips you forward, tips you backwards. You need to sort that out because you need to have a stable saddle that sits with you in the deepest part of it. And also your stirrup length can have a lot to do with it. If your stirrups are too long, then you're forever going to be reaching for it. And if you slightly get off balance, you're going to lose it. So you could try shortening your stirrups one hole, but be aware when you do that and start to ride, it's going to feel very bizarre. Give it some time before you decide that you hate it and you have to go back. Because I see a lot of people who are doing dressage ride way too long, and I was one of them. I think my stirrups are up two holes from where I used to try and ride now, um, from where they were years ago. So I'm going to give you two tips. I'm going to show you them in um, action. But I do have to tell you that Rebel has a very sensitive back. He does not like me moving around on his back too much. He'll often just stop. Spider was um, the best horse to do this with. He was very tolerant of me moving around on his back. But he's out injured at the moment. So Rebel it is. So please um, just bear with us if he looks pretty awful as I'm trying to show you something because he does not like me moving around too much. So once you've sorted out that your saddle fits correctly, the deepest part of your saddle is in the middle so you can sit in it and your stirrups are the correct length. Now if you have them down, you can see where mine sit. So my, they say they should hit you in the ankle bone. It's a bit hard with Rebel looking out there. Yep, mine, mine basically just sit just below my ankle bone, like literally just below them. Because you need to be able to have weight in your stirrups. You don't stand in them, although you do have weight when you come up, you also use your leg. I've done a video on that and I'll link that at the end. But you must have some weight in your stirrup, otherwise you are going to lose it. So one of the first reasons I know that people lose their stirrups, and why do I know these guys? Because I used to have the problem, is that they grip with their thighs when they're, when they're cantering. And just watch what happens to my seat when I grip with my thighs. I don't know if you can see that, but as soon as I grip, I pop up. When you pop up off the saddle, your actual leg draws back up and if you're if your stirrups are just long enough that you can just put your toes in them, you'll lose them. So when I, I pop up, I pop up when I tighten my thighs. So my very first tip for you to help you keep your stirrup in the canter is to make sure that you have soft thighs. And to have those soft thighs and release your thigh from the saddle, I don't mean roll it out when I tell you to take it off in a minute. It comes out sideways, basically. Let me see if I can come straight at the camera and show you. So it comes out that way. Not You don't roll like that, you lift it out. And it doesn't have to be a lot, it just has to be a little bit. And I'll see if I can show you how that looks on the horse. So Rebel, please forgive me moving around on your back. Good. So if I'm cantering and I pinch my thighs, Rebel's not gonna like this. I, not only do I bang in the saddle, but I don't, I don't lose my stirrups because I've got stirrups that are at a good length, but I feel my whole leg come away from my horse. My whole seat, pardon me, not my leg. I feel my whole seat come away from my little horse. So you need to open your thighs. And it doesn't mean rolling them. So when you're cantering on your horse, even on a circle, think about just lifting the inside leg away. It doesn't even have to come off the saddle. 
just be aware if you're trying to grip on with your thighs and allow them to relax and as they relax you and I relax then and you saw what happened to rebel um, your weight will go down so think about your thighs you know, you can lift them off if you're able to but if not think relax the thighs relax the thighs relax the thighs And you can actually see that my leg hangs quietly when my thighs are relaxed. Now the other tip I want to give you for not losing your stirrup in the canter is that you should have weight in your stirrups. Even now I've got weight in my stirrups. I'm not standing on them to get out of the saddle but there's weight there. If you lose your stirrup and your horse is just going along quietly, you have lost the weight in your stirrups. How much weight? Now, I don't want you to go around stomping on your stirrup in a minute when I show you this, because that's just not nice for your horse. But I want you to think about when you're down the beach and you step into the edge where the water washes up and comes away, that sand there. So what you do when you put your foot in there is if you put a tiny bit of pressure, you sink. So that's the sort of pressure I want you to think about keeping in your foot. Enough to just keep your foot in the very soft sand. And if you feel it come away, just think about squishing into that sand. And you can even wriggle your toes because I used to ride with very scrunched up toes and that gives you a very stiff foot. So let's have a look at that emotion. So even as I come out of the saddle here, I can feel the stirrup on the ball of my foot. I can feel like I'm just sitting on some very soft squishy sand at the edge of the beach. So when you get your horse into canter, I want you to think squish, 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 squish. So I'm thinking deliberately there of making sure that my weight is in my stirrup and I've only got the weight that I would, I don't, I'm not even squishing now because I don't have to, but I did. And then what I'd like you to do is put them both together. Open the thigh, squish the sand. Open the thigh, squish the sand. Open, squish, open, squish, open. Whoop. Told you Rebel doesn't like me messing around on his back. Sorry, buddy. Let's go the other way. Good boy. So it is, I'm not going to do it because it upsets him, but you would be thinking open squish open squish open squish open squish open squish open squish and it, to me it goes in the rhythm of the canter good boy so no stomping that's just awful even sitting here now i am pushing down onto the stirrup with the ball of my foot squish 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 opening my thigh opening i'm just relaxing when i say open you're just literally relaxing so you're not clamped up there so you go open squish open squish and it does go in the rhythm of the canter if you check the description i'm putting together a membership if you think it's something that you would be interested in add your name to the emails there and i'll be sure and let you know when it's uh, available i'd love to see you there and thanks so much for watching guys